Hi, this is Chris from codereview.co.uk and in this video I'm going to show you the PHP Storm plugin for Symfony 2. So there's actually two of them. Uh, we get there in the plugins, browse repositories and then just do a search for Symfony and then it's these two at the bottom. So clickable views and plugin. I've installed both of them already. Uh, clickable views is just a really straightforward one. It just literally means that your views will be clickable which I'll show you and then you've got the Symphony 2 plugin which actually requires a little bit more setup so once you've installed them two you're going to get asked to restart and when you do restart you get this additional menu item just under your project settings you've got to enable it per project which is a bit of a pain but um, you just tick that box and then as it says changes need a restart um, so I've already done that gone through and some of the stuff works, some of the stuff doesn't. Um, the main ones are, so the clickable views is this one. So now your views become clickable, uh, or it would do if I use the right command. And then we can click that. So just command click or control click on PC and it just takes you to the view. So that's that's a handy little shortcut. But the other one, the actual Symphony 2 plugin, uh, what this one will do is allow you to do stuff like this. So this, get, and then the name of the service. So you can just start typing mailer for example or this container get I mean the above is just a shortcut to the same thing but and then you've got the autocomplete on that then we could do other things like this generate URL and then this will give you a list of all your URLs so I don't think I've actually got I'll have the default one um, but we can just add another quick one in and just stick this in so and then this doesn't really matter so whatever and, and we'll just save that and then we should be able to locate that straight away just by doing that which is you know a handy time saver uh, and also that works for forwarding as well so if we do code review I mean we've only got one controller with one action but if we have multiple um, you would get multiple pop-ups there so multiple examples we can just very quickly cheat and do that or yeah something went wrong there we can just cheat and do second action and whatever and then if we do this forward again we should see a second one yeah so there's the second one and there's there's other things like if we do the form builder create form builder whoops and then add and then we can do something like our field and then this should give us some additional options, so like text. And you can see these got these little funny little icons next to them. So that's the Symphony logo, um, and it's just telling you that it's using the plugin. Uh, there's a few others like Doctrine um, it should work, but I, I'm really struggling to get Doctrine working at the moment with this with the latest version. There seems to have been some sort of problem uh, in the in the most recent version of this plugin with the most recent version of PHP Storm. Uh, there's also stuff for translations. Um, bits and pieces about the container and event dispatching, uh, class auto complete and stuff. But you kind of get that already with PHP Storm anyway. So um, yeah, it's just it's one of the things that's just you know for the sake of installing a quick plugin and remembering to enable it for your project. Uh, I, I think it adds quite a lot of additional value to uh, your workflow.